This pair of ASICS Nova Blast 2s have run 700 kilometers, and this pair is brand new. We're gonna compare these two shoes to try to answer the question, when is the time to change your running shoes? There are a ton of different recommendations out there. Some say to replace your shoes after 500 kilometers. Some say 700. Some even say a thousand kilometers. So today I am going to break down this question from an injury perspective, a performance perspective, and a comfort perspective. First up, performance. It's only natural that the midsoles lose some of their springiness and some of their other properties with time. So our performance loss would definitely be a good indicator as to when it's time to switch out your running shoes. So we're gonna be sending these two shoes out to our test lab in Scannable. And as per usual, we're testing oxygen uptake or running economy to see which shoe is more efficient. And while we wait for the results to come back, let's talk injury risk. Do worn shoes cause injuries? If you do a quick Google search, a lot of articles say yes. But is that actually true? Well, you're gonna love the answer to this question because it depends. There are currently no scientific studies on the relationship between distance in a running shoe and injury rate. There are several reasons for this. One, it's really hard to study. As we've talked about before on this channel, injuries come from too much training versus too little rest. And because that varies a lot from person to person, it's really hard to determine which other factors contributed to the injury. However, there is something to be said about stability. From a biomechanical standpoint, running shoes should not interfere with the natural motion of the foot through the stride. So if the outsole is worn to the point where it's rocking or no longer offering you stability in your running stride, it's probably time to change it. Ah, test results. No difference. I need to talk to Max about this. Fortunately, I did. Roll the clip. Basically, what we expected was that this had a higher oxygen uptake than the new one because it felt a lot more bouncy and, and all that. Yeah, yeah, we figured that this, that the foam would, would help you basically run faster or yeah, 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 be more efficient in your running. And what were the results? Yeah, some would say they were kind of boring <laughs> because there weren't any difference at all. That's pretty crazy, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. That's, that's pretty wild. Yeah, so even though they feel totally different, the, um, the performance wise, uh, the difference performance wise is, is, is not there. We're running out of good indicators here. So what about comfort? Running in a worn out pair of running shoes versus a brand new pair is striking. If you run for any period of time, you know what I'm talking about. Max, having tried these two pairs back to back, also put it very, very nicely. It's, it's obvious that when you run over 800 kilometers in a shoe, the the snappiness, the bounce is, is, is gonna disappear in some degree, right? And that has happened in this shoe as well. It's still a very nice shoe to run in, but it's a lot more like soft and uh, mushy and uh, not that bouncy. So in our opinion, that feeling is an excellent indicator. A 2022 study recommends the following. The best general recommendation based on evidence available and considering the least likelihood of harm is to recommend a shoe that is lightweight, comfortable and has as minimal pronation control technology as possible. So if your shoes no longer live up to those criteria, it's probably time to change. And that leads us to our recommendation. Switch your shoes when they're no longer comfortable to run in or if they affect your stride. Listen to your body. And finally, it's better to phase in a new pair of running shoes before you throw your old ones completely in the trash. Why? Click this video on shoe rotations to find out.